delivered yesterday, but it, the high winds didn't allow us to get the uh, trusses up there yesterday, so we're doing it today. Beautiful day out here. Um, yeah, so we put the Tyvek, since the last time I talked to you on the video, last video, we put the Tyvek, wrapped the uh, whole uh, structure with Tyvek, um, and today we're setting the trusses. Uh, gotta have that crane. That crane uh, is a lifesaver. Each truss weighs about 450 pounds. As you can see, up there on the trusses, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the bottom cord of that truss is a 2x10, which instantaneously, uh, there it is, you can see it. So you can just see the top of that 2x10 cord. That is the livable space, that area in between uh, that uh, opening right there is the, gonna be the livable space above the, uh, the barn. So that's a 40 foot span, guys, front to back, with a one foot overhang each side. Uh, the beautiful thing about these uh, room trusses is once you put them in place, boom, you got a room. And all you gotta do is put the sub floor down and then finish it off. Oh, one more thing. You see how it's flat at the top on the trusses? Uh, my trusses are way too tall. I got 13 foot high tr trusses there. So they had to cut the tops off to get them down the road, put a piggyback truss on so you get complete the A-frame. Uh, so that was one of those things we had to do that. Um, I didn't want to pay for extra shipping and all that stuff. Um, that does make sense. So we went ahead and piggyback. As you can see, there's the overhang. All right, so I'll be checking back in. Got to get up on the uh, the roof here. So we got the gable truss set. Um, set these last couple trusses. Uh, we're putting our ladder ladder frame in off for our overhang on our gable trusses on the ground. Makes it a lot easier to uh, pick it up and set it right in place. main roll-up door entrance into the structure. You see that, what I was talking to you about earlier, the bottom cord is 2x10. That's our room with the window in it. And it spans the whole 60 feet, so we have a 16 foot by 60 foot room above the uh, main structure here. And as you notice, we have a a space in between our trusses, um, four foot space. That's for us to put the uh, cupola that's gonna go in the peak of the roof. The cupola is a four foot, four foot by four foot cupola for the weather vane uh, with the glass panel. So it's gonna be an active, um, useful uh, skylight for the upstairs, which would be really nice for allowing a lot of light in, so that's where we're at right now. Uh, like I said, a beautiful. All right, there goes the last cable truss. Like I said, each truss is about 450 pounds. Let's put that plywood on, or the two by four, and the ladder. Probably about 500, 500 pounds or so right there. Um, 34 trusses, that's, man, that's, that's about 15,000 pounds of trusses right there in that, in that building. Probably take 10 guys just to muscle that thing up there. You got a crane, it's pretty simple. Hey guys, it's John again over here at Willow 
Han with the family, showing you what we got done today. We're almost done. We got about, probably about an hour and a half worth of daylight left. So we're hoping to get the paper on so we don't have any um, issues with the rain coming in. So we set the truck for today. Um, finishing up the sheathing, the plywood sheathing on the roof. Um, let's take a look inside. So we got the plywood sheet uh, subflooring up on the, in the room trusses right up above. So it's a 16 foot wide by 60 foot long room, which is massive. Um, working on the stairs over there, we got to tweak that window over there because it's uh, in the way of our stairs. So we're going to have a, um, a lane coming down, so uh, make that work out. So that window's got to be moved over a little bit. All my posts, all my beams are carrying the weight of the trusses, which is a really good sign. No more anything falling. What do you think, guys? So the next step is to get the, get the roof on, get the windows in, the door on, uh, all the metal, wrap the whole entire uh, structure with metal. Metal roof, and then we'll go and uh, start tackling the inside here. We're gonna we're trying to put in a concrete slab with a radiant floor heat system. So uh, that's those, those are the next steps, and we're debating on whether to uh, put plumbing in here and, and what whatnot. Maybe put a ba half bathroom, or maybe another bathroom upstairs or something. But we'll see. Doors are going to be 10 feet by 10 feet. We've got 13 windows, um, 36 by 44, 13 of them. Um, and then I guess whatever color we decide to wrap the whole structure with in metal, I think we got an idea of what we're doing. So we kind of want this barn to replicate colors that are like going to be in our house that we're going to build out here. Oh yeah, we have a four foot cupola. Uh, yeah, don't even ask me how we're gonna get that up there at this point. So we're gonna, we're gonna do something to get up there, but that thing is uh, four feet by four feet and it's like five or six feet tall. So um, it'll, take, it'll take some work to get that up there. Um, other than that, I think that's, that's it for now. You guys got any questions for me? Oh, give us some yeah, so the, the deal is we have an opening in the fence over there. We can essentially go in through this, this driveway, right in through that opening, and go right on out the other side if we had to. So it's a good pass through. Makes sense. We're loading up stuff or whatever. We need to get inside out of the, uh, the rain or whatever, snow. We'll pull right in, load up, and pull right out the other side. Yeah, so the other thing is, we special ordered uh, windows, which they're gonna be um, a black frame window with uh, grids. Uh, every, everything's special order, and the metal colors that we're using. Uh, we have to wait on that for a period of time, so uh, there's gonna be a little bit of a time frame of waiting for that, that material to get in before we're ready to put it on. But, uh, a lot of square footage, big building. It takes a lot of guys to, to, to accomplish something like this. You can't, one or two people can't get it done. We built all the walls, just me and a helper. And today I got my guys out here doing the, um, 
the heavy lifting stuff. And thank God for that crane today because that made uh, light work of everything. Uh, but yeah, so you can see all the work that we did all today. Just put the whole roof on, build the steps. So the trusses were set in about three hours? Three hours, yep. The crane, the crane came here at 8.30. We, he was out of here at 11.30. So not bad. Not bad at all for, for time. It's all going to be metal clad. The whole skin on this roof, walls, everything, metal. So until next time, guys, we'll, we'll see you uh, once we're getting ready to uh, put the metal on.